Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything. As long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we've been discussing the sacraments of the Catholic Church, and so far we've talked about reconciliation, baptism, the Eucharist, confirmation, and matrimony. Now the sacrament of holy orders. Specifically, what goes on when priests are ordained? What goes into the ordination itself? The actual ceremony is pretty involved. The candidates for ordination all appear in the church with a tonsure and in the clothing of a cleric, carrying the robes and vestments of whatever office they're being raised to, deacon, priest, bishop, etc., and lit candles. They're called by name, and each answers, Adsum. If it's what's called a general ordination, the tonsure is given after the introit or Kyrie of the Holy Mass, the minor orders after the Gloria, the subdeacons to be go after the collect, the deacons to be after the epistle, and the priests to be after the Alleluia or its equivalent. After that, all those who are receiving the priesthood are summoned by an archdeacon. They go forward in proper dress and kneel around the bishop who's performing the sacrament. The bishop asks the archdeacon whether the candidates are worthy to be admitted to the priesthood, and the archdeacon says they are. The bishop then says to the congregation that if anyone has anything prejudicial to bring against the candidates, they should do so. Next, the bishop warns the candidates about the duties of being priests, then kneels in front of the altar. The candidates lay on the carpet while he's kneeling, and a prayer, called the Litany of the Saints, is recited or chanted. Then everyone rises, the candidates kneel before the bishop, two at a time, and he puts both hands on the head of each one in turn. That's also done by any other priests who are there. Then the bishop recites a prayer, asking everyone to pray to God to bless the candidates. Next comes the collect, then some more prayers, and the bishop crosses the stole, a strip of fabric that each candidate wears over their shoulders, over the chest of each candidate, and puts the priestly robe, called the chasuble, over him. Then the bishop recites a prayer, calling down God's blessing on the recently ordained men, and afterwards recites the hymn, Vini Creator and anoints the hands of each candidate with the oil of catechumens. Next, the bishop hands the chalice to each ordained man containing wine and water, with a dish called a paten and a host on it. When the bishop finishes offering the gifts, he sits in front of the middle of the altar, and each ordained man gives him a lit candle. Then the newly ordained priests repeat the Mass together with the bishop, all saying the words of consecration at once. Before communion, the bishop gives the kiss of peace to one of the newly ordained. After communion, the priests approach the bishop and say the Apostles' Creed. The bishop lays his hands on each one and says, Receive ye the Holy Ghost, whose sins you shall forgive, they are forgiven them, and whose sins you shall retain, they are retained. Then the chasuble is folded, the ordained man makes a vow of obedience, receives the kiss of peace, and returns to his place. That's about it. After that, he's been ordained. Next time. Sure, that's the procedure, but what does Holy Orders actually do? What are the results of being ordained? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.